In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to scale up and down an image in the GIMP Picture Editor. First thing I want you to do is go to the Images options located here and select the Scale Image option in the drop down. Then a pop up window appears, and over here in the op input options, you have one for width and one for height. You can change the height to a bigger value if you want to upscale the image. I'm going to put it for a lower value uh, because I want to do um, downscale the image. You'll see that the height is also changed. That's because these two are linked together together in order to maintain the aspect ratio of this image okay now um, if you want to do this by a different uh, unit of measurement click where it says pixels that button over there and then you'll see you notice all these units of measurements let's say you want to go by percentage and you want 50 percent of the image to be um, downscaled so now you have um, a scale of 50 percent of the original image now for the quality, if you, it's set to inter, uh, uh, an interpolation of cubic. You actually want to set this to zinc to maintain the highest level of image quality when scaling. Go ahead and scale the image and this is how you scale an image. Uh, customly scale an image in the GIMP picture editor. If you want to export this, you go to file and go to export as to export the image. If you want to save this as a project for later, uh, for, for later editing, you can hit the save or save as options so if you go to um, export as and you don't want to overwrite the previous uh, picture so go ahead and rename it to your desired name and export it and we want to maintain a hundred percent image quality and if you make it a smaller image quality then the file will be a different size uh, in order to save space okay so you go ahead and export it and it goes um, exports this image um, if you, I appreciate that you've watched this video. I would also appreciate if you liked and shared this video, and I would also appreciate if you uh, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. And thank you for listening.